What up, folks? T-Biz here, and we're up to episode 11 of Opening Super 7 Ultimates. Uh, this one is uh, obviously going to be a Transformer. It's a bombshell, one of the Insecticons. Insecticons, I should say. And um, I had, like, a couple back in the day. I think I still have some now, you know, the newer repop versions and stuff, especially one that was a reissue from the Titans Attack Wave and stuff like that. But um, I can't remember if I had this guy or not originally back in the day when I was a kid. I might have, or one of my cousins might have, but... Um, but I remember playing with him. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a bombshell. He's, he was a weevil. Like a, I don't know if a bull weevil or a weevil, but whatever. Because I was looking at vintage picks today. And I was like, man, I haven't seen this in a while. This, this bot. And I was like, it's not a beetle. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's, he's a weevil. Anyways, um, yeah, cool packaging. Really cool packaging. I like the foil, the purple foil. And you open it up. And yeah, you got your figure on the back. And um, or at the back, you got your Decepticon logo, which is actually pretty freaking dope. Um, and uh, another uh, purple foil. Uh, the nice packaging, though, man. Anyways, uh, here's uh, Bombshell right there. So it's going to be awesome. Check him out. And there's our Ultimates logo. And yeah, I got this guy really cheap. I think I got him off of Amazon. So yeah, you can get deals on these. Or uh, I can't remember. Was it Amazon? I think it might have been. I've gotten quite a few of these from Amazon. Really good deals, man. Um, you can find deals on the Shop app, too. If you have a Shop Money or Shop app, you can. there's like a monkey in I want to get. He's like 31 bucks, man. He's marked down pretty well. Uh, anyways, um, with, but with Shop app, you you know, the more you, I guess, spend on shipping and stuff, or not shipping, but just ordering from different things, you, you rack up money and stuff. And I have enough money to make that monkey in pretty cheap, man, uh, on there as far as points go. So there, we're going to shut up. Uh, Decepticon Bombshell. Uh, strength level is number five, so he's kind of eh, mid paced. Let's see, intelligence number eight, so he's not stupid. Uh, speed five, eh, he's kind of yeah, another, another, another mid, then endurance five, eh, yeah. Rank, uh, he's about six, so he's not really up there. He's kind of eh, he's kind of middle of the road. He's, he's not anybody you need to worry about, really. Uh, courage is a five, so eh, he don't really basically, he's a uh, He's a bitch. But uh, let's see. And uh, firepower, five. So nothing to really worry about there. And skill. Obviously, skill is about a nine. So, man, he's got some skills. He's got some skills. And what? I don't know. But we'll have to figure that out at some point. But uh, anyway, I'm going to shut up. We're going to open this figure up. And here he is. Um, let's see. Let's do some size comparisons. Here's uh, that Lord of Death guy or whatever. Or Death Man or whatever. I forget his name. Damn it. Anyways, uh, from the DC uh batman 66 waves and stuff anyways and uh here's um a little good old little Christar right there so if that gives you any idea and um uh who else do we have to do size comparisons with um oh yeah king grayskull so yeah if that gives you any idea how tall he is or whatever and then our good old buddy um which we still haven't posed up uh snout spout so yeah if that gives you any idea Anyways, for uh, those uh, new attorney, that's not about. Anyways, uh, he looks pretty cool. I always like this guy's like face mask helmet thing or whatever, or just his uh, head because it kind of looks like a knight, like a not like a knight in armor. I always like that. I always thought it was cool. And uh, yeah, there's Decepticon logo, feet, and legs, and everything and stuff like that. We'll pose him up in a little bit, but it's cool, man. He comes with this little bug guy attaches to his back. But you can also detach it, and I noticed that things this thing's like articulated, it goes back and forward, side to side, swivels around. But yeah, it's a little I don't know if it's like a little mini con, mini bot, or whatever, but yeah, it's cool, man. Another little bug thing that you can send out to wreak havoc upon Autobots. And um, here's some of his, I believe this would be when he's transformed, this would be a part of his snout, his, gun, his little gun thing, or whatever. And yeah, I think that would be another part of it too. But yeah, he's got two guns. So there you go. He can hold these. Should be able to hold them, I believe. Or unless they peg in. But yeah, let me see. Because if his hands, I don't know. I might have to heat up his hands. Jeez, dude. Because he should be able to hold, he should be able to hold weapons. Oh, here we go. This would be this hand. Damn, dude. Yeah, you got probably, yeah. Well, he can hold on to him. So yeah, there you go. So that's cool. Comes with the uh, four extra hands. So you got like, I guess like it's a trigger finger hand and a holding hand, another trigger hand. But 
Oh, unless he holds it from... No, it wouldn't. That wouldn't work that way, would it? Unless this can peg in the back. Two or whatever. But, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out, man. We got, we got plenty of time to figure it out. Anyways, um, yeah, dude. Let's go ahead and check out some of his articulation. So his arms go out a little bit, but not much. Really not much going on there. That kind of sucks. So they can swivel around. So that's cool. Um, got an elbow. Okay, swivel with the bicep. Swivel with the elbow. So that's cool. Um, got a side hinge and a swivel on the fists. So there you go. Head can nod a little bit and twist. Look side to side. And let's see what else. You can do splitsy, so that's good. He's got a waist. And there's a swivel right there, too. So there you go. And he's got a bend at the knee. And that's pretty much it. And there's a little bit of a rocker. But yeah. So there you go, man. Um, I wish his arms would yeah go out a little bit more, but they're going to be hindered. So yeah. And again, this guy, you know, he's not much. His ratings aren't very crazy, so you can't expect him to do much. But um, let me do some further research, and we'll get this guy set up and get another uh, Transformer Ultimate out just to do some comparisons and stuff like that. Because I think that would make more sense and be cool. Anyways, Looking at him up, this, this particular weapon should be actually kind of hinged behind his head. And popping in the back or popping up over his head, but it's not. So we're used to using it as a blaster, as a gun. But it can also peg into his back, which we can do. And so can this little little mini bug guy. Can, he can also peg into his back, which actually looks pretty cool. And uh, makes him pop a little bit more uh, color-wise, I'd say. But it looks, it looks rad. It looks cool. It's freaking awesome. But, yeah, you can pop that in the back. But uh, but it's supposed to, because in the pics, it's supposed to be like, that's weird. It doesn't make any sense. It should be like, but, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't. But we'll just peg it in back there. But actually, damn it. It's supposed to peg in. Or not. Or maybe. I don't know. There we go. Okay, cool. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I think I do. But I don't know. Whatever. Does it matter? But, uh, yeah, we got him posed up, man. So it's kind of cool. It's not bad, man. I like him. I didn't pay, like, an extreme amount of money for him. I didn't pay full price for him. So that's the, another thing, too, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, he's ready to go fight your Autobots or my one lone Autobot that I have. But we'll go ahead and read from uh, the Transformers Wiki. Um, a, a master of mind-controlling Cerebro shells. Oh, so hmm, interesting. The twisted bombshell plays with the minds of others as a child would a new toy, enthusiastically and recklessly, but there is nothing childlike about the gleeful malice he exposes in forcing his victims into a more and more humiliating and destructive acts. Bombshell takes such sadistic joy in the destruction of his victims that even the other Decepticons can be put off. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty gnarly. If you can put off other Decepticons, because they're all, you know, bad guys and stuff. Um, wondering if he would not be just as pleased to play those games with them. Yeah, all right, well. Okay, Port oh, wow, this wiki's pretty cool. Portuguese name, uh, Brazil Comic Bomba. Portuguese name, uh, Portugal Comic Granada. And let's see, French name, Obus. Russian TV dub name, I can't pronounce that. Or Bomb Throw. Italian name Prudox and Hungarian name Bombatoro or Bomb Breaker. Interesting. Interesting, man. So there you go, man. There you go. Wow, that makes sense, man. So this is how we would look as the vintage toy. So there you go. Action Master form, which that makes sense. It comes with the little green bug thing. That totally makes sense how that works. That's awesome. We figured He's something basically out. Basically like an homage to the Action Master, which because the, the Action Masters were basically like action figures, Transformers. So yeah, that totally makes freaking sense. That's awesome, man. That works. That freaking works. Anyways, we, we had to figure this out because I didn't know, man. I don't know everything. I do like my Transformers. I grew up with them. I had the, I'm an OG, um, you know, G1 guy and stuff like that. G1, G2, whatever you want to call it. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know everything, you know, whatever.
it's no crime in that. But uh, once again, let's look at a bit of more of his uh, sculpting and stuff like that. That way you can see where his uh, robot insect parts and his transformer parts or bot parts kind of meet and intersect, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's a cool figure. And like I said, you know, once again, man, I didn't pay a ton of money for him. So yeah, it's, it's actually really cool. That's weird. How he did that right there. Anyways, but he does, he, yeah, he, does he, does he, is he articulated there a little bit? Not much. Oh, it clicks a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So he does have somewhat of an ab crunch. A little bit, man, a little bit. Anyways, uh, we'll get another uh, transformer out just to do some, uh, comparison and stuff. Folks, and here he is about to get blasted by uh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> Optimus Prime's all gonna get you. I love this Optimus Prime. He's, he's rad, dude. He reminds me of the Optimus Prime radio that I, oh, if you just stand up, that I had when I was a kid. Anyways, uh, it was like an AM FM radio, but uh, yeah, that thing was cool. Uh, I don't know. It just reminds me of the old school Transformers and stuff. Anyways, it's rad. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for our look at... Um, at our bombshell and stuff, our Insecticon buddy. I'll go ahead and stand him straight next to good old, good old Optimus. And I think another cheap one you can get of these guys is uh, the Ghost of Starscream, which I kind of want to get because he is pretty decent recently. Decently, he's decently cheap or whatever. I don't know, I'm trying to say, I don't know, he's, he's cheap on Amazon. Like I was saying, but yeah, there you go. So he's just a little bit taller than uh, than Bombshell Optimus Prime is, and um, yeah, man, it's cool, man. It's a cool figure. It's a badass, dude. I like them. I like these, man. They're they're cheesy. They're not perfect, and um, I don't know. They're cool, man. I like them, dude. I dig them, dude. I don't know what else to say. I just think they're cool. And like I said too, um, and other people that have watched my videos and commented too uh, have said like. Uh, See if I can think of somebody who recently commented. Give me a uh, second. One of the comments was at Mirage X uh, 1007. These are quite nice, cute, but not for the original price. Paid half at BBTS, probably what you did, which is well worth that price. And that's kind of a fact. Yeah, that that is. But these, you know, these guys were purchased on Amazon. So yeah. Either way, hit up BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, or wherever, or even the, if you have the shop app, you know, hit that up too because you can find deals on there if you have uh, points or money on there to spend you can get you a monkey and for a decent price for like 30 bucks man 31 dollars anyways um from thundercats anyways um we're gonna be doing more super 7 ultimates openings uh pretty soon um i've got gi joes and thundercats to go through because they had a sale or whatever i got some from um, bbts and entertainment earth had a sale too on stuff on some joes so i got some joes for cheap for uh from entertainment earth as well so there you go man anyways that's it for this review uh once again thanks for people tuning in and stuff always appreciate it and uh more reviews and stuff coming up soon all right y'all have a good one all right later